The White House reportedly in the final stages of a nuclear deal with Tehran. And the Biden administration is also considering removing Iran's Revolutionary Guard off the terror blacklist to make it happen. It's not a joke. Florida Congressman Kat Kamek, ranking member on the Subcommittee for Emergency Preparedness, Response and Recovery, joins us now. Congresswoman, of all the horrible ideas coming out of this White House, where does this one rank? Oh, it's definitely a top three uh, bad decision by the Biden administration. I mean, they're so bad that they make the Obama administration look good. And listen, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. This is the exact same cast of characters from the Obama administration doing part two of the Iran deal. It's a disaster. Not only is this a disaster for our national security, but for regional security when you're talking about the Middle East and our number one ally in the region for Israel, but globally. Iran has ICBMs. You pair that up with nuclear capabilities, you're looking at World War III. Yeah, and we are just hours away, Congresswoman, from President Biden's high-stakes phone call with Chinese President Xi Jinping. Um, here is what the White House has said about China in recent days. Watch this. China in particular has a responsibility to use its influence with President Putin and to defend the international rules and principles that it professes to support. The fact that China has not denounced what Russia is doing in and in, in of itself speaks volumes. Congresswoman, is there any optimism that this phone call with President Biden will result in a change of heart from China? No, and listen, I'm a, I'm a glass half full kind of person, but I have absolutely zero, uh, zero hope that this call is going to yield any sort of positive results. This is going to be another situation where Biden fumbles and bumbles his way through a phone call, again, projects weakness at a time when we need strength. And he is going to possibly make it even more dangerous and tenuous of a situation in the Ukraine, because as we saw when we gave intelligence to China, they turned around and gave that intelligence to Russia. They're not our friends. They're not our allies. They're looking for global domination, and this is just going to be another way for them to seize a weak leader here in the United States. Frightening times, Congresswoman, absolutely frightening times. It does seem you could put all of these on a wheel, spin it, and the common theme that comes out of it, Joe Biden caving to the bad guys. It is a frightening prospect. will be interesting to see if and when your party takes over the Congress in November, if anything changes. Congresswoman Kat Kamek, we appreciate your time and insight as always. Yeah. Thank you very much.